everyone, it's Bretta Riches from runforfeit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can use your knees to help reduce impact during running. Most runners don't really think of the knees as being shock absorbers, but the knees are known to be dominant shock absorbers during running, but the shock absorbing capacity of the knee joint all depends on how you use your knees when you run as misusing your knee mechanics can actually dramatically amplify impact. So I'm going to talk to you about how not to use your knees when you run to run with the least amount of impact to avoid muscle or bone injuries. When you run, what you don't want to do is number one, land heel first. So you want to avoid heel striking when you run. And number two, you don't want to maximally extend or fully unbend your knee when your foot strikes the ground. Maximal knee extension, which means completely straightening out your knee at touchdown, is a very typical mechanical move in heel strike running, where before the heel strikes the ground in heel strike running, the knee typically completely unbends and this causes the heel strike impact to be amplified to the rest of the body. And I'll tell you why this happens. When you fully extend or fully unbend the knee joint of the landing foot during running, doing so prompts a longer stride or causes a runner to overstride, which according to studies, and I'll link these studies below, increases the vertical ground reaction force, which is just a sciency fancy word for collision and brake force. So unbending your knee joint when your foot strikes the ground during running, especially if you are landing heel first on your foot, intensifies the collision and brake force between you and the ground. The knee joint is thought to be a shock attenuator or a shock absorber when it's softly bent when the foot strikes the ground during running. A winning combination for optimal shock absorption during running is landing with a forefoot strike while the knee of the landing foot is bent and not fully unbent like it tends to be in a heel strike running style. Less loading has been measured at the knee joint when the knee is bent when the forefoot strikes the ground during running, meaning that maintaining bent knees during running, particularly while utilizing a forefoot strike running style, results in a lower vertical ground reaction force or a lower collision and break force at touchdown. So the exact physiological or anatomical components that allows the knee joint to act as an effective shock absorber during running when the knee joint is bent when the foot strikes the ground, of course, is unclear. I've yet to discover in the scientific literature why the knee joint absorbs shock better when it's bent versus when it's unbent when the foot strikes the ground during running. But mechanically, bending your knee when your forefoot strikes the ground first during running allows the landing foot to be conveniently positioned close to your body or your center of mass or your hips. And when your foot lands closely to your hips while you run, this shaves off a lot of the vertical ground reaction force. So there's a lesser collision force between your body with the ground when you bend your knee at touchdown during running. So knee bending when your forefoot strikes the ground during running seems to be the real trick to enrich impact protection and provides enough impact protection to enable you to run without shoes because the main injury culprit in running is the vertical ground reaction force or the super high collision force. Always remember to bend your knees when you are forefoot running, especially making sure your knee is bent when your forefoot strikes the ground which is incredibly helpful for allowing your foot to land very closely to your body's mass and appears to be the main mechanism for overstriding control. As you are less likely to overstride and therefore less likely to produce damagingly high collision forces, if you land with a forefoot strike while keeping your knee of the landing foot relaxed and bent at touchdown. For more information on heel strike running versus 
four foot strike running, please head on over to my blog, runforfoot.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on all the latest research regarding the biomechanics of running and how to run safely. Have fun out there on the roads. Thanks for listening and watching. Bye for now.